Long before the thunderous footsteps of dinosaurs echoed through the ancient landscapes, a multitude of extraordinary beings roamed the earth, crafting a narrative of bizarre beauty and uncharted eccentricities. Join us as we journey through layers of time, encountering beasts that defy convention and rewrite the rulebook of life's history. Witness the triumphs and tribulations of Earth's forgotten pioneers, who flourished in an era that paved the way for the rise of the mighty dinosaurs. On number four, there are trilobites. Trilobites, a kind of extinct invertebrate with a shell, were one of the most prevalent creatures in the Cambrian era. These arthropods had three lobed segments and presumably evolved much before the Cambrian period, maybe over 600 million years ago, according to Britannica. These creatures are unlike any others that exist today. Trilobites occurred in a wide variety of species and sizes, some of which could grow up to 18 inches long and weigh as much as 10 pounds. In addition, trilobites behave quite differently from shrimp today while sharing a similar body shape. Some, for instance, subsisted only on plankton, while others scavenged, and yet others engaged in active hunting. Trilobites peaked in the Cambrian, when they may have been the most prevalent animal in the prehistoric oceans. By the end of the Paleozoic era, they had almost disappeared. In succeeding ages, they steadily perished. We have Hallucigenia on number three. The Hallucigenia is often referred to as the most bizarre animal ever discovered. According to National Geographic, the British paleontologist Simon Conway Morris gave it the name in 1977 because of what he described as its bizarre and dreamlike quality. You've undoubtedly agreed that Hallucigenia fits in a Pink Floyd movie once you see this pencil-shaped worm with seven tentacles each with a mouth and seven spines. The Cambrian seas were home to the little Hallucigenia, which could grow to 1.9 inches in length. More information on it is difficult to understand due to its weirdness. However, scientists have tried postdoctoral research on it. For instance, attempting to locate its head was a challenge. However, in 2015, there was a discovery that seemed to be a small pair of round teeth, suggesting that researchers had finally located the head of Hallucigenia. The early evolutionary history of this enormous group is mostly unknown, as Dr. Martin Smith, a researcher from the University of Cambridge, was cited as stating, Given how difficult it was to determine which side of Hallucigenia was up, this is nicely expressed. We have Brenda Belaspis on number two. About 400 million years ago, in the early Devonian era, a fish that was unique to all others existed. According to Sci News, Brenda Belaspis was a fish with eyes just above the head. In actuality, the eye sockets were where the nostrils were located. The fish's snout was so lengthy that many have likened it to a platypus. As a consequence, the mouth was positioned quite far forward. Placoderm Brenda Belaspis was. According to Britannica, placoderms were early jawed fish with plates around their heads and trunks. These fish, which are extinct now, but were widespread during the Devonian, were unrelated to, or only very distantly related to today's bony fish, based on the placement of its eyes, which may check for danger from above, as well as the fact that it seemed to have a pressure detecting system on the snout. Scientists think that Brenda Belaspis was a bottom dweller. As a result, the fish would be able to find prey by probing the substrate. On number one, we have Dunkleosteus. An armored fish from antiquity named Dunkleosteus would give everyone nightmares. Its remains are best preserved at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. According to the museum, this predatory armored fish could grow up to 20 feet long and featured self-sharpening bone protrusions that were considerably more terrifying than teeth or fangs. Basically, picture a huge fish that would mock a barracuda and have a guillotine at the end of it. There is no question that Dunkleosteus was not a pacifist. It didn't seem to be a finicky eater. Fossilized remnants, according to the BBC, demonstrate that it consumed rays, sharks, and even members of its own species. Additionally, based on how often semi-regurgitated remnants are shown in fossils of it, it seemed to have digestive issues. Aside from that, the fossil record provides information about this ancient creature that is unusual. First, fossilized pigments demonstrate that Dunkleosteus was most likely silver on the underside and darkly pigmented on top. The second point is that Dunkleosteus could have been among the earliest fish to have separate sexes. Thank you for watching this video. Until we meet again, let's keep being curious, continue to uncover the secrets of our planet's past and appreciate the beauty and complexity of the life around us.